All right, shalom, shalom, shalom to the elect of Yah Shalom, and shalom to the other men, women, and children of Yah Shalom. Who Yahweh by Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon them. Shalom to all of you. Shema Yah Shalom, Yahweh Allah Yenawa, Yahweh Achud. Barak Atha Yahawa, Barak Atha Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Recha Ha Kodas, Ko Oloim La, Abunawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Recha Ha Kodas. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to the sincere Akim who are laboring in works. Shalom to you believers, to the Haki and Wahakwa, which will be you brothers, and few are my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Alright, Abba Rasazat, that this lesson is edifying, plain upon the table, straight to the point. I'm your brother Maokaya, representing prophets of Pasadena, Texas camp. Alright, so this is pretty much going into, you know, a man shall be in the hiding place. Alright. Just got a few scriptures I'm gonna bring up. Uh, let's start with this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 2, in the KJV. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, from all hell breaking loose, right? From the chaos. And a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right, so it's going to when it says man, right? Because it's talking about the elect men. Right? The elect men, the men of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim al Shai. It's going to man. Strong's 376. Ish. Ish. Alright. And when you go down here, you get great men, great men, and who are the greatest men on earth, right? Physically on earth, the elect men, the sons of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Yah Shar Allah, Yah He Shar, Prince Allah Powers, He Prince Power, you no know, princes of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Alright? Not just any man, and not just any Hebrew is like man, but a great man, Yahshua Allah, the sons of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Alright? Uh, let's go back. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place. As a shadow of a great rock in where we land. Alright. This is why these men are going to become more precious than fine gold. Okay. Because. It's going to be manifested between. The great men. Right. Real men. Which are Yahshua Allah. Princes of the Most High. Yahweh Bashmi Shai. And. And little boys. Men. The, the separation between men and little boys. All right, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is only going to be dealing with a, a remnant, a small number of men. All right, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right, this is going to precious. Precious. Um, here you go. Yeah, Yachai. Yeah, Yachai. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. Strong's H thirty three sixty five. Yaker. Yaker. All right. So you will get to esteem, be prized, be valuable, be precious, be costly, be appraised. To be precious, be highly valued, because not any man 
and not any Hebrew Israelite man is going to have that hedge of protection, receiving mercy from Yahweh Bashem Yahushua when all hell breaks loose. All right, and women, you know, they're not built to deal with hard times and calamities. They're going to be afraid, and they're going to be desperate, seeking for a hiding place. And who's going to be a hiding place? The great men, Yahshua Allah, princes of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. It says, "Be esteemed, be costly." All right. So when you go into esteem, right, esteem, let's go into that real quick. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Right, esteem, respect, and admiration, typically for a person. And for who? who? Who's not respected right now? The elect men, the hopeful elect, the men of the Lord. His prophets are not respected. All right, but real soon the so-called black man, Hispanic man, Latino man, Native American Indian man, and your Israelite foreigners that makes up the elect are going to finally be respected by our servants, which is the women. Most most of them don't look at us as Yahshua, Allah, as gods on earth, Allah Hayyim. But soon they will see it. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, and it's mostly women in our in our nation. So they're going to be willing to get down with the program. All right. I brought this out. We are those men. All right. Respect and admiration typically for a person. That's for esteem. Okay. Um, let's go back. All right. So that's for, uh, you know, uh, precious, right? Uh, I will make a man more precious and fine gold. All right. That's why these men are going to become a hiding place. These great men. And also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it also goes into a husband. Right, husband. So for you Israelite woman, you're gonna need an Israelite man to be your husband. Because you're gonna get saved through childbirth. Okay? You are not making that chariot solo dolo. Alright? You will need a man of the Lord. Alright, that's why I say it's here for an example, first Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbirth if they continue in faith. And charity and holiness with severity. So you as like women are gonna to have to have to bear children, bear fruit for your husband, for y'all husband, because y'all will be sharing one Lord, one head. Alright? Just how we as like man, we share one head. We all share Yahweh Shai. Alright. Um so let's get Isaiah right quick. Isaiah four one. Uh, KJV first It says And in that day Seven women Shall take hold of one man A complete number of women Is going to take hold Of one of these great men One of these men Is going to be more precious Than fine gold One of these men Is going to be As a hiding place One of Yahshua Allah One of the princes Of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai We will eat our own bread And wear our own apparel Only let us be called By thy name To take away our reproach Right and how do a woman takes on her the man's last name through sex that's marriage to take away their reproach right i like the uh well, we get the end the either nlt and the niv and then we're going to go into that word reproach it goes in uh i think disgrace rest, yeah, resting upon uh, uh disgrace all right heavy shame is coming upon a lot of you is like women and that day so few men will be left and why is that because Second Edges chapter 16, verse 33 and 34. Uh, the virgin shall mourn, not have no bridegrooms, and the wives shall mourn for having no husbands. Just paraphrasing. Because what the following verse, uh, their husbands shall die in wars. And if, if the wars don't kill them, the, the famine shall get them. Just paraphrasing. A lot of men are going to die in these wars, man. Overseas, World War Three, or out here in America. Um, it's going to be a shortage of men. Okay, a famine of men. <laughs> in that day, so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man, saying, "Let us all marry you." We will we will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name, so we won't be mocked as old maids. A woman that's too old to bear children. A woman that that's too old to be uh to to be married. All right. The NIV. And that day, seven women would take hold of one man, saying, "Aslaki." And that day, seven women would take hold of one man and say, 
we will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. Right. Reproach. All right. Oh, so lucky. Um, in the message version, it says that will be the day when seven women will gang up on one man saying, we'll take care of ourselves, get our own food and clothes. Just give us a child, make us pregnant. So we'll have something to live for because what? Uh, she shall be saved in childbearing, right? That's what you woman was, was, was made for, to bring forth fruit for your husband, to rebuild a nation. So more Israelite spirits can come on earth and uh, worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. All right. And to actually please your man, you know, the woman was made for the man, right? Not the man for the woman. Right. And women are going to see that when all hell break loose that, you know, when all hell break loose and you don't got nothing, you, 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 you ain't going to have nothing to live for because your spirit knows that you were you were meant to be a mother. You were meant to have children. All right. All right. Um, we'll get the expanded version. We ended off on that. All right, the expanded Bible. At that time and that day, seven women will grab one man. War will have decimated the decimated the male population. Remember the NOT version. There shall be so few men left that that they will fight for for each man, saying, "Let us all marry you." This decidement, kill, destroy, or remove a large percent. Or part of so a large percent of men are going to die, especially Israelite men are going to perish and die. The male population and say, We will eat our own bread and make or right, wear our own clothes, uh, things a husband would normally provide. But please, but please marry us, let us be called by your name, and that's happened through sex. All right, between man and woman only. Okay, please take away our shame, right? Reproach, disgrace from having no husband or children. All right, so hey, I brought this out. The lesson was edifying. All right, I'm gonna close out by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachaka Kodas. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to the sincere Akim who are labor and works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim and Aqua, which will be your brothers and a few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to the truth. The DTA, Abad, Babal, Soon, Kwam Yashal. Shalom.